And with Houseville 249, some college students could be catching a break and cutting some financial strain. It also passed the General Assembly and now waiting for the governor's signature. The bill would give college students a little bit of help if they run out of money before they finish work on their degree. Kalisha Moore spoke to both the bill's sponsor and a financial aid director about how it will give students the push that they need. For many college students, the decision between dropping out or completing their degree could come down to a matter of finances, something state legislators have worked to change. Students who may have had that dilemma in front of them may have more options now that House Bill 249 is passed. That bill beefing up the amount of completion grants. Those are needs-based funding for students who have completed most of their studies but have stalled on money. It just gets a little more difficult at the very end, um, and that's when we start getting creative and, uh, and trying to find ways to help students. In Middle Georgia State University, Financial Aid Director Delapo Ogunmakin says the completion grant is fairly new on campus, but it could go a long way. Well, the first time we actually awarded the fund was fall of 2022, uh, so it's, it's a brand new grant. Uh, that actually helped out a lot of students and actually helped them stay in school. If the governor signs off on House Bill 249, those in need could get a thousand dollar bump in funds, an increase from 2,500 to 3,500. The bill would also allow students to receive aid earlier while completing their credits. We, we needed to adjust those and, and we think we have adjusted those so that uh, deserving students will be eligible uh, for the completion grants. Sponsor and representative Chuck Martin calls the bill a good investment. A lot of students get really close to the finish line and, and it's just a few hundred or a thousand dollars that that stops that, you know, stops them from, from finishing. In Macon, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. We have more on what made it through this year's legislative session and what didn't on 13WMAZ.com.